We still don't know when the next big Zelda game will hit consoles, but that's not the only Hyrulean adventure on the way. The new 3DS game, The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes, will continue the adventure on October 23rd. The game was announced earlier this year at E3, and it's based around three-player co-op, where you and your friends will need to work together to solve puzzles. There's a new totem pole mechanic where all three players can stack themselves on top of each other, and thankfully, you can use AI companions if none of your friends are online. Another deadly assassin has emerged from the shadows. Ubisoft has released the first gameplay footage of Evie Fry, the new female protagonist in Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Unlike her more blunt twin brother Jacob, Evie is more stealthy and likes to observe and survey her opponents before taking them on. I think Evie adds a critical element to the Assassin Brotherhood, and she works very well with Jacob to make sure that they have the yin and yang. She keeps Jacob in order. She thinks things through. She doesn't go in rough. Like, she's just as bad as she kicks everybody's butt, but she, um, she very stealthy plans her moves and oversees things before she can really attack. Assassin's Creed Syndicate takes place in London, at the height of the Industrial Revolution, and new technology like trains and handguns adds a new dynamic to the gameplay and the combat. It also arrives October 23rd. Watch her closely. Some big topics there to talk about, Assassin's Creed and Zelda. Are you, are you kidding me? Here's Marissa Roberto to help me wade through all this stuff. EP's own Evie. <laughs> That's right. And Evie, uh, finally, we can talk about Evie. You've yeah. known about this uh, lady in the Assassin's yeah. Creed universe for a long time now. And you yeah. kept it very under wraps. Well, Good job. Well, I wasn't allowed to say anything. Yes. But uh, no, I'm just really excited that there's a female protagonist in this game. Yes. It's a brother-sister duo, mm -hmm. which I think is also an interesting dynamic. Because, yep. um, you know, we've been burnt out on the whole Assassin's Creed thing. Well, that's well established. For yeah. A little while now, <laughs> they keep releasing these games, and we keep, you know, trying to digest them. Ubisoft is very aware of that, and yeah. I think that they're doing everything that they can to, uh, you know, reinvigorate the franchise with this game. I, it is just hard to make it feel like, oh my God, it's brand new, because there is this routine in places. Same thing with Call of Duty, right? So I'm hoping that this character will make it feel a little more yeah. brand new, and this dynamic will make it feel a little more brand new. Well, we also have a new Zelda this year. It's not the Zelda that we may all be waiting for and want. Yeah. Uh, but Triforce Heroes does look super interesting. I've been a big fan of their portable stuff. The Link Between Two Worlds was absolutely incredible. So good. I don't think that this will live up to that pedigree. I don't. But I'm uh, excited to play this sucker. No, you know what? I love games like this. Yeah. I love when they take characters that I know and I love, mm -hmm. and they put it into a little puzzle game like this. Very puzzly mechanics. Reminds me a little here, bit so. of Trine or Lost Vikings. For sure. Yeah. I like that trying in there. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. But um, no, I'm just interested in playing this thing. I love these games where I feel like I can just jump in and play, especially on the 3DS. It's exactly what I want yeah. out of my 3DS. Out of a portable system, I should have a game like this, and I'm glad that Nintendo is releasing it. It is cool that they try new things with this yeah. uh, franchise. It's lots of inventiveness, lots of originality there. Yeah. I think this is going to be a very solid title. Nintendo's got some good things in store for us this year. Of course I And we've it. also got uh, Call of Duty in oh, store for us this not. year. Speaking of Call of Duty, it's Black Ops 3. Here's a look. The Rundown is brought to you by EB Games.